Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my video. So, I am in a predicament right now. Predicament. So, basically, I can't get my car to start. I can't get my car to turn over. I'm at a Wendy's. Went inside to get some food. At least I have some food to eat while I wait for a tow. But, um, I've tried everything can't get my car to start so basically this has been like all right this issue came up i think maybe like a couple months ago um i had no it wasn't it wasn't like this i mean i was able to start my car you know after a couple tries um today after about 10 tries i knew there was an issue and I knew, you know, it was something that I would have to deal with. Unlike the other five or six times that this happened in the last couple of months where I was able to get it started after at, at most maybe six, five to six different, uh, you know, tries to get it started, cranks. So basically, all right. So when this happened, all my lights, everything worked. All right. I did not know. That I was going to do what I was going to do. You know, try to turn it on. Nothing. <clears throat> I mean, I was in Wendy's maybe for, you know, maybe for uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> and um, so I, I I was thinking maybe my battery was bad. Maybe I was just putting off changing my battery for like the last two months. And it just, just got me this today. But I went out. First thing I did was check. The headlights to see whether they were bright or whether they were dim <clears throat> and funny enough it was kind of hard to tell uh, I was in the, in the daytime it's kind of hard to tell but it looked fine to me whatever that means so I'm like <clears throat> okay I can't tell 100% from that all right it just seemed like the battery was working fine um, I did have a I do have a booster pack did I had a booster pack that was fully charged charged it up uh, uh, last week because of situations because of the situations I had previously so I'm like I was like <clears throat> let me just pop it in popped it in uh, put the cables on the battery um, turned the booster pack on went back to my car try to crank it nothing 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 happened so at that point I was like <clears throat> okay well this is going to be it's going to be a bigger issue it's not going to be an easier fix where I have where I could just go Uber to, um, you know, there's a Walmart close by. You Uber to Walmart, get a battery, pop it in. I'm not going to be one of those situations. So, I was thinking, okay, so it's not the battery. Could it be the alternator? <clears throat> and, you know, off the top of my head, after I tried the battery pack, I knew it wasn't going to be the alternator because the way... You know, alternators normally when they go out, they go out on you while your car, your engine's running, while your car's on. But your engine's got to be running, all right. Um, if it's a bad alternator, that's when it dies out on you when you in. For the most part, when 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 you know, and unless you were able to drive it all the way back, you know, to where you were going. You know, just as the alternator died, and it gave off the last volt to 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 your car, but. For the most part, 99% of the time it dies while your, your, your car's on the road, while your car's idling. But this wasn't the case because my car was off. I turned the car off, went to get some food, came back with the food, and the and, um, car wouldn't start. So it's not the alternator. Definitely sure it's not the alternator. Definitely sure it's not the battery. 100% sure it's not the battery because my boost pack... Um, <clears throat> Should have at least, uh, should have at least, um, you know, is the car should have just cranked up slow, if, if, if anything, but nothing at all. So, okay, so it's not the battery. Um, and also, I did make sure to check the terminals on the battery just to make sure that the terminals were good, or clean. I know that that uh, caused a lot of issue as far as getting electricity to the car if the terminals are dirty, but. The terminals were clean, so I didn't have that wasn't part of the issue. So 
Terminator is good. Terminals are good. Battery's good. Alternator is fine. All right, so now it could be two <clears throat> two other things I was thinking of. It could be where I I might be able to just get off with not having any kind of big issues with my car. And those other two things were um, the the fuse. Uh, a fuse going bad, a couple of fuse going bad, blown, or a relay. So I'm, I'm I'm thinking. I was thinking. So basically, could it be the relay? Now, every time I try to turn, crank crank the car up. Every time I try to turn on, um, I, I I hear a click. It's a faint click, but you would hear a click. Um, so I'm like. Okay, so normally what happens is, you know, it it you you you'd have to look at the the uh, the the star relay. Now I don't think it's the star relay because hearing that click means that electricity is going to to the so starter. It's going to the solenoid, but the but the starter is not turning. So it can't. Ninety percent sure it's not the relay because if you hear that click, it means that electricity is relaying. From the battery to the relay to the starter solenoid, <clears throat> fine, right? So I could I could pretty much knock that out. I mean I can't be a hundred percent sure of it, cause sometimes when you're in a car and you're hearing noises, you know, kind of sometimes it's hard to make out what those noises are. But I do hear a faint click, so I could rule out the relay at this point. <clears throat> All right, so I could rule out the relay. Could it be the fuses? All right, the, the fuse is pretty much, you know, could it be the fuse? All right, so going down the list of diagnosing this this issue as far as this uh, this this car is concerned, could it be um, a fuse? So here's the thing, I've had experiences with cars, um, cars not starting because of a fuse issue, and those two issues I've had. Are this one of the issues I had was I had the, uh, an old car I had had a dead fuse and I was getting no power to anything like no power no lights nothing worked security doesn't work blow motor doesn't work radio doesn't work nothing it's, it's, it's as if some somebody took the cable off the battery and it, the car was getting absolutely no electricity which is not this problem that I'm having right now because I am getting electricity to every single thing except for the car not starting. So that in that situation was the main fuse that was the issue. So swapping out the main fuse, it was blown, got my car to start, everything else worked, it was a fuse issue. All right. Now the second fuse issue that I encountered was this. All right. I had encountered a, a blown fuse but here's the symptoms of it. Everything else worked. It cranked. Everything else, like all the lights worked, low motor work, it cranked, but it wouldn't crank over. It wouldn't crank over. That's not this situation because everything works, but this thing would not crank at all. So at that point, I knew, you know, it's not a fuse as far as I can tell at this point because I'm, I, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I did not do like an official test with a fuse tester. I did not test out the relays, but <clears throat> just to diagnose this, I don't think it's the it's I, I don't think it's the fuses or the relays. So what else could it be? Um, all my ground wires. I did not check out the ground wires, but as far as I could tell, the ground wires were clean. I'm not gonna put that. You know, the, I'm not. I mean, that could be the issue, but normally if it's a weak ground wire, you either get, um, I, I think that, you know what? It could be a ground wire, but at this point, I'm going to rule that out. So here's the thing. At this point, I think it's the starter. And, uh, that would have been my first guess because I've had starter issues before, but the thing about it is that I changed the starter out on this car recently, relatively recently. I say like a year ago, I changed it out. <clears throat> and 
in that year, I've driven maybe 15,000 miles on this car. So this starter that I got from AutoZone, which was a rebuilt starter, remanufactured, rebuilt, got from AutoZone about a year ago, put it in, and it's got 15,000 miles on it. And it, this is not my first thing. I was hoping that this was not the case. You know, I was hoping, and you know, this normally situations like this, I would put that high the first diagnosis on the list if not well maybe not the first maybe like the second you know higher on the list but <coughs> okay I had this I had changed I had that changed out a year ago so I wasn't gonna I was hoping that it would last me more than that but apparently at this point after ruling everything out I don't think that anything else is causing it except for a starter that is either malfunctioning or not there's just something wrong to start at this point. Unfortunately, in this situation, it's not going to be an easy fix. Now, I could test it out. I could test it out. I could put wires to the starter. I could bump the starter with some kind of, you know, bang it with a hammer or a crowbar or something like that. And then try to start up. It might work, but I already called AAA. That's not going to be the case. I'm not going to be doing it because... I'm just not going to be doing it right here. And I don't even have a crowbar that long to, to to reach it, to bang it. Unfortunately, that sucks. So, here's the thing. I'm waiting for AAA right now. I'm going to keep you guys... I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. I mean, I'm still hoping at this point that it's not the starter because I do not want to be changing out a starter every single year. This starter should have lasted me over a hundred thousand miles at the very least. I got like fifteen thousand miles on it. I know it's still under warranty because I think it's I think I got a lifetime warranty. I don't think it's a lifetime warranty. I think it's like a one year warranty or something like that, but hopefully that warranty did not run out. Hopefully that did not run out and uh but I'm going to keep you guys updated on it. Hey guys, what's up? So, guess what? I did uh, manage to test out everything. It's not the fuse, it's the batteries. None of that other stuff. Um, it was what I thought it was, which was a starter that was broken. And I don't know. Um, I did do some tests on it. I did bang it. Did not get it to start. I did put a wire to the solenoid, start solenoid, see if that actually got it to move. It didn't move. So at that point, the motor did not turn. So at that point, I knew that it was the starter that was the problem, the starter that was defective. So I took it out, went to AutoZone. They gave me another rebuilt starter, which sucked considering I got this problem this rebuild starter but i wasn't going to shell out three hundred dollars or whatever it was for three hundred dollars cash out of my pocket cash credit out of my pocket for another starter instead of getting a free one so i just i if i had the choice i would have gone on ebay and ordered one oem used or whatever but unfortunately i don't have the time for that but but I did put the starter in. It works fine now without a problem. Starts up immediately. Uh, so that was it. That was it. Um, if you guys, if this has helped you guys out, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Please, please, um, you know, comment. If you guys want to leave, drop a comment. And please subscribe, guys. All right. Take care.